What are those? <laughs> Adidas. Have a seat, man. How's it going, man? Wonderful, wonderful. Not too hot, not too cold. Yeah, it's perfect weather to play today. Can I please tell us your name and uh, what do you do? So, everybody calls me Soup. Soup Ortiz. Show for Superman, they've been calling me that since I was 12. I've been playing handball uh, competitively for about 20 years now, and I've been to a couple of countries. You know, I've been to Argentina once, I've been to Mexico twice, Colombia twice. Um, Holland Dutch and in the States I've been to Florida, Vegas, California and um, a lot of these trips uh, especially the international ones I was teaching uh, the kids you know I would bring the sport to them uh, it's you know I participate with an association called WIF World International Federation of Handball and um, I play for Team Puerto Rico um, and the captain is Macho uh, Edgar Macho Diaz is what they call him very cool individual um, and he was the one that uh, uh, got me started with the flying around and playing for Team PR you know so and um, ever since 2017 I've been traveling and I love it honestly it's a beautiful thing you know teaching the kids and just, just being there like a little light you know in their in their day you know you know what I mean because they're not as as fortunate as us and everybody else here so you know simply just going over there and, and, and showing showing up and just just giving them a ball and or signing their shirt or whatever it goes a long way you know um, it brings hope to them I, I can see it in their eyes you know and they look at me like I'm an actual like pro athlete you know in their eyes when I'm just a regular guy from the South Bronx you know I grew up in the city uh, with struggles, just probably like them, you know, maybe not as bad, but you know, I'm just a regular human being, you know, just like they are. Anybody else could do it. And it's just a beautiful thing, you know, like having these kids, you know, it brings me to tears every time. When I travel, I go home, or, or at the end of the day, I go to the hotel room, and I'm just like grateful to be in their presence, and you know, just, just, just like to be like a little, a little wind of hope for them, you know, and uh, that they can you know, hope to one day get out of the situation from where they at, you know, and playing a sport, you know, it doesn't necessarily got to be handball, but you know, handball is very accessible, you know, it's cheap, you know, all you need is a wall and a ball and a friend, and then that's it, you have the best time of your life, so, you know, that's the message I travel around, you know, and I share with people, and unity, you know, I also want to see the sport grow. Also, you know, when I travel, uh, I don't get paid for this. This comes out of my pocket, you know, and uh, I do it because I love it. That's it, you know? Well, it's not that's it. It's a longer story. Huh? Oh. It's a longer story. Can you please soup? What is, what, how does it, did your mommy name you? What's your name? Your first name? Your, like, your actual name? Well, my actual name, I, I don't share it because in the handball world and in the sports, no one knows me by my name, so it's like... My name wouldn't make you no. Know, it wouldn't ring ring anyone's bells, you know. Like, but my name, what they call me as soup, you know. Um, that's the name that the players gave me. That's the name I stood with since I was like 12. Superman, uh, please. I'm trying to take this international. You see the the, the globe behind you? Yes. You, you see the uh, the map? Yes. And I want it to be a very official. So. I cannot be like you know saying soup and you know short nicknames. Yeah. It's not well, just when, for the handball um, community. When I go to internationally, um, they call me by my by that name. Like that, when I go to places, even the mayors, when they when I talk to mayors, they call me with that name. Yeah, they refer to me, and I came out in interviews and in books, and in books they refer to me as that name. Is your name Jesus? No. No. Jesus, what's your name? No, no, it's not. It's no, what's your name, bro? No, I don't want to share it. I like to keep. I worked for three years on this channel. I make it official, bro. Everybody gives me first and last name, bro. Really good names, bro. Full name, bro. Xavier Who do you reference? Is my first name. Yes, sir. Xavier, you are not a regular guy. You're a king, man. Yeah. Nobody does this shit, bro. None of this king, bro. None of this, bro. None of them, bro. You are the king of the courts, bro. You are, bro. 
you know, I've been uh, traveling and stuff, and um, I started playing at the age of 15, and um, I'm 35 now, so I've been playing for like about 20 years. Jesus age. Yeah, yeah, I've been playing for a long time. <laughs> Let me ask you, what do you see in the, the painting behind you? They both two, the behind and the other one. What do I see here? Yes, sir. Unity of of a bunch of nationalities is what I see. Yeah. Is that is that what you want? Yeah. Is that you want to see? Yeah. Unity with the sport. And you've been working on it. Yes. God's work, bro. Amen. No way, God first. Everything is possible, right? We're human. Yes, yeah. superhuman, super so, kings, bro. Not yeah. N N. We don't call each other N. We call each other King, bro. You're right. And um. And as long as I have strength in my bones and in my body, I'm gonna keep pushing for the sport. I'm gonna keep playing. I'm gonna keep teaching and keep traveling, you know, and hopefully be an inspiration for the next champion, you know, that may come along and he may take the torch and continue on with that, with that role, you know? A few moments, a few best moments that made you go and cry at home. A few good which, moments which in, your, in your life. I'm gonna tell you, um, uh, okay, so I'm gonna give you a recent moment that made me kind of like tear up a little bit. I, I went to a park in the Bronx and an old friend of mine, he's uh, like 60 years old, he saw me and um, he told me, I just want to tell you that I admire you for what you do in the sport. And he told me, keep doing that, you know, don't, don't, don't listen to what anybody has to tell you. And the fact that it's coming from somebody that's 60 plus, it means a lot to me, you know, because he's... He, he, he came from handball before my time. So the fact that he is, he's acknowledging me as one of the best, one of the good ones, and one of the ones that wants to push for the sport and make it grow, that meant a lot to me. And then on my trips, it's the kids. I cry like a baby, like, I can't help it. Like, you know, I go home and I'm like, oh my God, I can't believe it. Cause you know, I feel so grateful to be in their presence, you know? And to be in their presence is humbling. You know, because who am I, right? I I'm just a regular guy. Nah, you know? come on, cross, Jesus. You know, I'm a regular guy. You're a king, bro. You say it. You know? Say it. So, Xavier, you know Xavier, Xavier looks, looking at him. I say it, I'm a king, bro. I'm a king, thank you. <laughs> and then, and then, you know, um, uh, you know, the kids, and they tell me, they, they look up to me with admiration and inspiration and stuff, you know. And the fact that I've been put in that position, you know, uh, it's humbling to me. It makes me cry every time, you know, because um, just being a light to someone, period, you know, that's, it's impactful in so many ways, you know, who knows if that kid, because that kid saw me, that kid now is training or now is working out or, or trying his best, trying to become the best version of himself because he saw me, you know, like, so, and sometimes some of the kids, they message me when they get older, they send me like messages, oh, how you doing? Are you okay? And stuff, you know, like, yeah, I'm okay. It was one time I went to Holland Dutch. The father of a son called me, messaged me. He wanted, uh, he wanted a picture that I took with him, with his son, because his son wanted to take the picture and blow it up and put it on his wall. And to the day of today, that picture with me and him is on the wall and stuff, you know, so on his, on his wall, so. Yeah, I'm real grateful for that. You know? Have you uh, had the introductions with Tony Touch? Huh? Tony Touch? Yes, I know. I'm, I've known Tony Touch for a long time. Um, he was one of the guys uh, that always encouraged me in regards to my singles, my one-on-one -on -one game, because I'm, I'm really good at singles. I, I, I play doubles, but I prefer one-on-one. -on -one. And, and Toka always told me, oh, you know, you're one of my favorite singles players, man. I hope to see you win one day, you know, like you deserve it. You know, and he, he will always encourage me, always be uh, positive towards me, you know. And um, it was a good, you know, we lost a good one. He was a good person, you know, and it was great to have him around for handball. You know, he, he, he hosted a lot of events throughout the years and stuff. And um, the fact that we lost him, man, it sucks. You know, we, we lost a big part of, of the handball community, you know. We all know Toka, everyone here, so imagine, you know. And it's not just me. I'm pretty sure everybody else feels the same. 
you know, they did that memorial for him and stuff. Beautiful thing, man. I just, I wish him and his family, well, his family, I wish his family and his girl, his wife the best, you know. I know it's tough because I, I lost my mom, you know, four years, five years ago. So I know what it is to lose somebody dear to you. So, you know, just got to keep What is your mom's driving. name? My mom, Sandra. May she rest in peace, brother. Amen. Thank yeah, you. she made a king, bro. Thank you. Real king, bro. King of the poorest people. Real king. One day I'm, I'm gonna get that title. One that day. is not about you have it, bro. The real one. The real one, people. Thank you. Seriously, I mean it. I'm not Thank doing. Means a lot to me. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Yes, sir. Thank you. It means a lot. No. Uh, I don't know if we should end it here. It's good, but can I ask you to do pick up those dumbbells and do something? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes, sir. Whatever you like. One exercise. Five or ten. Are you playing today? Yes. Are you in the game? I won my first game. Who? Against who? Against uh, Long. In the second game, I played people. And you beat him? Uh, I beat him before. Not so today? Today? We'll see today. Oh, I you're about to? I'm about to face him. So it's going to be like before? I'm planning to be. <laughs> you know, I don't want to... I don't want to... Talk uh, ahead, you know, yeah. myself, Put it down, don't, don't tire yourself, it's good enough. You got a game, bro, you got a game. How many points you gave him last time? Uh, The last time I faced him in a tournament, he beat me 21-20. He beat me by one point. But before that, I beat him twice. Don't give you even 10 points. Yeah, don't I'm going to try my hardest. I'm going to leave everything I got, I'm going to leave it there on the court. But you are already the king, you know what I mean, bro? Thank you, bro. Thank you. I appreciate that. That means a lot. Thank you so much. Mm. Thank you for the interview. What's your name again? Georgi Bekchiv. Short name. Nickname? You got a nickname? Georgi. Georgi. There you go, Georgi. A lot better. All right, Georgi. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Thank you so Thank much. You. All right. Yeah. What you doing, Francis? I'm, I'm starting my first face painting of the day. Hello. With, uh, what's your name? Mm -hmm. Thank you for doing this, bro. Yes, sir.